there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Love Island because there are split rumors uh, regarding a uh, third place couple from season 10, Tyreek and Ella. I, I have a lot to say about this. I And here's the thing, right? I, so they would be together, I believe, tomorrow, seven months. I, however, uh, the other day, Ella has unfollowed Tyreek, has either archived or deleted their couple's photos, all of them except for, I believe, the kick game interview. Uh, once uh, Tyreek saw that Ella unfollowed, he unfollowed her. Uh, and it's just been chaos ever since. And I want to say the following, you guys, because uh, because there's a lot going on. I uh, number one, Tyreek and Ella have not, nor has their management put out any sort of statement to confirm any said breakup rumors, right? Uh, to confirm that they split, to confirm that they're on a break or, or anything like that. So the Daily Mail, the Sun, all of these publications that are saying that they split. If you read the article, it says that they, you know, can't confirm with the team, basically. They can't confirm with Ella or Ty's people, in fact, on whether or not it's true. But that is not going to stop people from clickbaiting you guys to death because Tyreek and Ella generate news and generate views, right? But here's the thing to the fans and to the haters, right? You, you all are doing way too much. There, there should not be these reality stars that have you in a chokehold like this. I understand some of you guys are kids, right? And, and you don't understand all the nuances of reality TV and you see cute little edits on TikTok and you go crazy. But some of you have been way too invasive. Some of you are contacting Tyreek and Ella's family, which is out of order. Some of you are trying to find clues from their friends or trying to ask questions on Snapchat to their siblings or to their mutuals, trying to get tea. Ella had to turn off her DMs because she's getting harassed in them. Tyreek turned off the comments on his Instagram because people are going in and dragging him and assuming because Ella unfollowed him that he did something wrong. But mind you, we have no context to anything. And here's the thing, to me, unfollowing somebody and, and archiving photos, it's giving more so, hey, we had a big fight, we had a big argument uh, than it is we actually broke up because uh, people do that all the time on social media. We are in this generation of people to where they want to wear their emotions on their sleeve and they want to let everybody know whenever there's a fight or whenever things are good. But the thing is, people have amnesia and seem to forget we saw a lot of arguing with Tyreek and Ella that was displayed on the show for season 10. So it should not be a shock to you this hot and cold behavior that keeps taking place with them. And for those of you that were living in a bubble for the past seven months, uh, there have been multiple times that Ella and Tyreek have deleted or archived their couple's photos or went days without liking or commenting on each other's posts, uh, throwing out subliminals. Anytime Ella goes to um, Glasgow, uh, you know, there, there's all this chaos. And, and, and she's currently there now. And what is it? Chaos. There was always breakup rumors every time Ella leaves London. Uh, its tail is old as time. Uh, the only difference between then and now is Ella unfollowed Tyreek. But, but everything else, all of the other behavior has happened as well. This happened after uh, the Great Britain Awards. This happened a few times where even uh, the Daily Mail was going as so far as to say that uh, Ella and Tyreek were hanging on by a thread and had already broken up before and they were going to give it one more go and that they were having issues with, you know, initially Tyreek saying how the next step was for him and Ella to move in together only for him to renege and say that he wants to stay with his family in Essex. Meanwhile, Ella has secured an apartment that she's going to be moving to more momentarily, and uh, it doesn't seem like Tyree's going to be joining her, right? But again, no couple should rush into anything that they're not comfortable with, right? But, um, but this unhinged behavior from both Tyreek and Ella, either you're going to go down with the ship or, or you're going to ride the, the roller coaster with them, right? 
but but nonetheless you guys the haters the fans you guys are all way too invested some of you want to cheer and be like you know whitney is right toxic love can't win some of you want to troll and make fun of the fact that you know uh, zach and molly are still together and whitney and Lockin, as far as we know are still together and you want to use that to troll tyreek and ella even though there hasn't been an official announcement and then the Tyrellas, they're trying to hold on any type of glimmer of hope uh, because there hasn't been an official breakup statement, but you guys are over analyzing everything and you guys are coming up with all of these theories and, and conspiracies and all of the things and, and you're driving yourself insane. You're driving yourself completely mad, uh, going this hard, trying to, you know, figure out what went wrong. Was it Valentine's Day? Was this brand event? You know, what about the night where Tyreek, you know, wouldn't watch uh, The Apprentice till uh, Ella got home and it wasn't until after 2 a.m. and blah, 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 you know, and, and they were on good terms on their Snapchat 24 hours ago. So what happened? It, it, you guys got to chill. You guys got to chill. You do not know these people just because you saw them for seven hours a week for eight weeks does not mean you know everything about them inside and out. And even just because you can post cute couple photos and, and, and interactions and trips doesn't mean everything's all in the up and up. They still are human beings and they don't appear to care about their public image because I, uh, you know, for me, these are people in their early to mid twenties who are, you know, acting immaturely, right? And it's unprofessional, right? Uh, so clearly if they want to still be the influencers or as Tyreek likes to say, the influenzas, I, uh, you know, you, you got to tighten up here and hopefully their teams have told them like, listen, that this unhinged behavior isn't it. And, and, and stop it, right? Like either announce a breakup uh, within this coming days or some people are even speculating now, maybe this is a publicity stunt for uh, if Tyreek releases new music or there's a new venture that's gonna come out next week, who knows? But not everything's on the table because you're dealing with two people who are unhinged, <laughs> who are very reactive to everything. The moment if you have upset them, they are going to let the world know that they're that you have had an argument, that you were pissed off at them, that you're being petty, right? And then both Tyreek and Ella were both doing posts and deletes in their stories yesterday. Ella trying to repost an old picture of her when she was single, trying to, you know, make it seem like, hey, we're, you know, we're going to get back into this type of era. And then she deleted it. Then Tyreek was trying to post a snippet of um, the Bad B song in which he said, hip, you know, his girl was five foot seven and stylish, trying to give people a glimmer of hope. And now the Shade Burrow, who has an obsession with Tyreek and Ella, has already done two posts today, one about the unfollowing and then another about uh, Tyreek's comment. And just going back and forth and doing the most. And it's like, chill. You guys are way to attach this generation that is hanging on by a second to every type of social media activity that these reality stars do. It is very concerning, people. It is absolutely concerning. And you would be shocked. How many couples don't even follow each other, don't even, aren't even friends with each other on Facebook, don't even interact with each other on social media because it is too much. Because people can't handle it. Literally, you guys, on my social media, on my, like, my actual social media accounts, nobody knows whether or not I'm single, married, or whether or not I even have kids. Because that's how much of a low pri profile I like to keep, right? Because I like to keep certain things close to the vest. I like to keep my private life private, right? But but that's not the same for everyone else, right? But again, I please calm down. Please go outside, touch grass. If you're someplace warm, spend time with your family. Uh, you know, what whatever. Watch TV, watch Netflix. Do something productive, you guys. Because melting down on social media is in it. And, 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 and you're embarrassing yourselves in front of everybody because you're showing that you get way too attached to these people. I learned my lesson after the debacle with Justine and Caleb that people can put on one heck of a scam uh, to sell a love story, right? 
So I no longer am invested in any of these reality TV couples. If they're cute and a couple I support, um, that's great. That's all well and good. Um, I'm happy that, you know, Tyreek and Ella last a lot longer than many of you predicted. Uh, if it, in fact, it is true that they're done for good, because some of you thought they would be done by the, you know, finale or uh, done at the airport or done by the reunion. And, and here they are seven months later, right? But nonetheless, uh, we'll wait and see, right? We'll wait and see what happens. And then we will uh, give an update from there. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.